Hey, lemons. Is that sticking? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Put a lemon or put a thumbs down if you don't like the lemon idea. Before I get into this video, I just wanted to mention if you're a fan of Rogue Amoeba, if you're a fan of Audio Hijack and a lot of the audio apps that I cover on the YouTube channel, you might want to be checking out the interview I did with Paul Cafasis, who's one of the founders of Rogue Amoeba. It's on my podcast called Show Me Your Mic, which you can find at the URL on the screen. It'll be in the show notes down below as well, the episode notes. The video notes, what do we call these things? And uh, also at goodstuff.fm slash smym slash 117. And of course, Apple Podcasts and wherever else you find podcasts. Okay, now on to the video. So I got a tweet from uh, Giovanni who asks about, he's a new Audio Hijack user broadcasting his weekly show on a web radio. He wants support for a few tips on how to adjust and switch volume levels between his broadcast app, his mic, etc. And uh, he asked, do you know where I can get support for my issue? I search everywhere on the internet, nothing useful. So like I mentioned before, I, I don't have time to do direct uh, support unless you want to hire me to do that. Like, I'm happy to do that, obviously. I, I do have a business to run and family to support, so I can't always do one-on-one uh, -on -one tr troubleshooting and tech support. But if you're stuck with something from Rogue Amoeba, like Audio Hijack, you should definitely check out their website, rogueamoeba.com slash support slash support request dot php. But you can just follow the links in the navigation. And that'll get you to this page where you can contact them directly with whatever your issue or uh, question might be about any of the software. If you've bought it already, they'll definitely help you. And chances are, if you haven't bought it yet, and you're just using the trial version of any of their software, they'll probably help you out as well. I'm happy to try and help, but so my focus is obviously on creating new videos for the YouTube channel and then helping uh, paid clients um, so that I can eat. But this one seemed like an interesting question that I wanted to try and solve. And so here we go. Okay, so we'll start with a new blank session here in Audio Hijack. And I'm going to capture my microphone, in this case, my Scarlett microphone. Use my preset, which is just left channel and right channel as track one. And then also an application. So in Giovanni's case, he mentioned using uh, iTunes in another message. But for this uh, purposes, I'm going to use Spotify. But uh, basically, you can use whatever app obviously is is where you're wherever you're getting your music from. So I'm just going to move this over here. He doesn't now he doesn't mention on his uh, in his question that he's also recording it maybe as like a podcast that goes later. If you were doing any amount of recording it, if it's not just going out to the internet live and that's it, uh, you'll want to make sure you check in check off the uh, fill playback gaps with silence so that any times the app isn't generating any noise, you're still on your recording having some silence come through so that uh, time uh, match up with your voice recording as well as the the apps recording. Now he mentioned he's using a Shoutcast server and uh, like I covered in a previous video how to set that up. Um, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to use a recorder as a sort of destination for where this is all going to end up. But the recorder could be a broadcast block or it could be both for that matter. In simplest terms, uh, what he could be doing is just simply adding a volume control to where his mic is and then a volume control on Spotify if you wanted to just stay inside of Audio Hijack the whole time. And uh, you could add a level meter so that you could see what the levels are at. Just throw, go find a meter, a uh, peak RMS meter on each one, let's say. Not the minibar one. Okay, so basically the his microphone is here, his music playing device app is there, and then uh, once we hit record, and, oh, right, I don't have a broadcast block, so I'm going to just turn this block off. Hopefully you can follow along, just so I don't keep getting that error, but the broadcast block can stay there, obviously, if you have that all configured. So I'm just going to turn this off. Oops, turn off, turn off this block. So I'm going to hit record, and then as you can see, if I look at the levels here, I can adjust the levels so my voice goes down and up as I'm recording and as it's going out to the broadcast block. I can make live adjustments right here inside Audio Hijack and see that reflected in the peak RMS meter. Same goes for Spotify, so I'm just going to turn on some license-free music. Hopefully they don't slap my hand. Uh, I don't have it playing back, so that's why I'm not hearing it. Let's see here. I'll just put a output device on that chain. I am here in there is no so I can turn it way down if I want to. So while I'm talking, maybe I'm introducing the music, you know, that kind of thing on a radio DJ kind of thing. And then as I finish talking and want to turn up the music. So 
So that's one way of doing the volume control while you're like a radio style DJ if you want to just sort of manually controlling it right here inside of Audio Hijack. Okay, one other thing you can do is, uh, which again, it may depending on how he has his the rest of his configuration set up, this may not help or it may help a, a bunch. But under Advanced here, there's a, a neat little ducky icon and ducking block. And so what you can do is, I'm just going to shuffle this guy over a little bit here, and I'm going to throw this ducking block in there. And uh, in order for this to work properly, uh, I'm going to have to do a bit of fiddling here where the the output device so that I can hear things and make sure it's actually working goes there. I'm going to get rid of this block for now and also the volume block because what's going to happen is we're going to throw the Spotify or iTunes, whatever, in and you can see it has that little duck connection. And so what that's going to do is when my voice is talking and coming in, this is what the primary sort of um, audio chain that it wants to look for is talking, then anything that comes in off of this ducking channel is going to get muted or uh, volume will be ducked below mine. So um, what you can do then is basically set how low you want the volume to be ducked when there's another uh, voice talking or music coming in or whatever it might be coming in from this first track. So we'll turn on the recording and then we'll turn on Spotify. Now when I talk you can see that the music gets ducked down below my voice. And as I stop talking, the music comes back up. So I could maybe bring this way down if I wanted to, and just kind of get in a sense of where it makes sense and sounds good. The other aspect of this is the overlay threshold is what level you want it to trigger for. So. If it was really low, then probably just about any noise coming from your mic would trigger it. Whereas, you know, setting it higher, then it might not trigger. Yeah. Now it's not triggering the music. So I can see that it's around minus 15 dB that it kind of is able to trigger the, the ducking. So those are two different ways you can adjust the volume of what you're sending out to a broadcast device or to a recording um, where you've got, you know, maybe your microphone and then you've got music playing in your radio DJ format uh, of some sort for a show. And uh, I hope that helps you, Giovanni. And uh, if it doesn't, feel free to leave me a comment in the comments below. And of course, as always, you can hire me if you need uh, direct consulting for any sort of audio config set up with Audio Hijack or related apps from Rogue Amoeba or any sort of podcasting consulting kind of stuff you want, uh, lemonproductions.ca slash hire. And uh, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and watch one of the other videos recommended over there and tell all your friends about the channel because it just helps get the word out about this little thing I'm trying to do here. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.